what is going on guys welcome back to another video this is just gonna be quick and simple I'm currently editing my video right now I finally got to go do some fishing um, start using the Senko again just cuz like I said it's one of those lures that you can go out always fish with and uh, I use multiple different colors use the Nico hook wacky hook um, just a bunch of different hook styles and I am currently editing my video right now forgot to do my intro on the water so outro will be the same thing but i hope you guys do enjoy today's video if you guys did le learn something from today's video hit that like hit that subscribe button stay tuned because it's gonna be a good one all right guys I'm, i just moved spots uh, i went to a different marsh here and literally just pulled up first cast and i got him freaking insane dude some of you guys might know where i am which is totally fine but just insane. That's crazy. That was first cast. Let's see if I can't pop another one here quickly. Still weedless. All I did was just pitch right in the hole there. And I just popped it popped it and then I fall to eat it there we go there we go there's another one another one for the books Moves to a different spot, fishing my sinkle the same way, catching them still the same. That's why it's one lure I can always count on is the Senko when I'm fishing. Guys, I think I got a pike on. Yeah, it doesn't feel like a bass. It's a bass, it's a big old bass. Ooh! It is a bass. It's a good one too. That's a nice bass. Slabs. Slabs. The green meanie. Guys, look at that. Choked it. Pair of pliers. Slabs, you got a pair of pliers? Alright. Sleeping? Probably. Another nice bass there, guys. Probably two pounder. Two and a half. Not a bad one. Thanks, buddy. I knew they had to be one there because of how many blue there were, but go back casting next if you can't catch another one. Talking about GoPro. GoPro on it. Cast right by the current break. Ooh. I'm gonna cast by the current break again. Let's see if I can't catch another one here.
I had a feeling that there were had to be at least a couple there because how saw a bunch of bluegills splashing on the surface. Got them. Little guy, but killing, pounding them just because there's wherever you see a bunch of baby bluegills, baby crappies, a bunch of bait like that. You always want to fish it because there's always going to be a bunch of bass by there. The bass are going to be eating those. Thanks, buddy. Fish until I got no more singles left, and then I'll start pan fishing here. Like I said, my main objective today was just to get rid of my singles that I had for a while. Um, Cast it back over there again. See where all that splash came in right there. That was probably something chasing those bluegills. But anyways, there's a little bit of a eddy and a current over there. Current comes out, there's a little bit of eddy. You got bluegills in the current, you got bluegills in the eddy. And since I'm using a Sanko, what I'm doing is I'm casting it into the eddy and I'm just letting it sink nice and slow and then I let the current catch it. And it'll bring my, uh, got him. Oh, I let the current bring my, hit my line, drag my sinkhole right back into the current. And then from there, it's just up to the fish to see if they want to eat it or not. Wow, that was insane. That was right away. That was instant. That's what happens when you cast and you're not ready. It's pretty cool the way they're biting. The way when they hit it, it's just a hard thump and then my line starts to take off. I'll be ready this time. He's got it. Ooh, little guy. Looks like that, I got another one. I had a head over there, so I cast it over there again because I knew that he had to be close. Just popped out. I'm sure, you guys are there. Thanks, buddy. There he goes. Fix my sinkhole up here. Actually, it's already fixed, so I'm just gonna cast right back in there. See if we can't get another bite. Oh, yeah, he's got it. Oh, he dropped it. He's got it. Oh, darn it. Cast it back over to see if we can't get us another bite like we did before. It's pretty instant. That was pretty almost instant in the tree. Guys, I turned the camera off to go put some bug spray on. Came back, made my first cast, and I got another bite. Oh no, stay out of there. Stay out of there. Don't be that smart. Come on now. There's another one. Cast after cast after cast. It's pretty cool. Not a bad one. Another good one. 
There you go. My setup that I'm using, Shimano 2500, uh, 8 pound, 830 Super 8 suffix. I got a 6 pound leader on there, uh, Seaguar. My rod is the Shimano uh, Zodius. And then I have, yep, went over my reel. I'm using a Nico hook, but I'm using the BMC weedless Nico hooks. Um, does that, do I need to be weedless? No. Um, did I have any hook, other hooks with me at the time? No. So that's why I'm using it. Guys, literally as soon as I turned off the camera. It's only a little guy, but. As soon as I turned off the camera, I made a cast again, and I caught one. Thanks, buddy. This just shows that it doesn't matter what color Sanko you're using. They're there and they want to eat, they'll eat it. Guys, I got another one. Pan fishing for a little bit, let this spot rest. And I went and tried a different spot and uh, came back. First cast again with the Senko. And bang, bang a bango. Ooh. It's not a bad one either. It's decent. It's not giant. But it's decent. Look at that one there, guys. Probably almost a two pounder. Wow. How the heck did you get hooked like that, buddy? Not bad. Gonna let him go here. Thanks, buddy. And there he goes. Make another cast over there. If I can't get another one to come and play. I did have a pretty big leader on here, but kept losing my lures and my leader's cutting down. I don't have any scissors on me, so it's kind of hard to retie my leader. But anyways, that's all I'm using right there is a green Senko with the BMC Wacky Hook. Thumped it pretty hard. Another reason why I'm trying to keep my keeping my rod up like this, not only so I can feel the bite, but so I can keep my line out of the current and let my Senko at least sink down a little bit of ways before the current comes and swipes it. tapping it guys i literally turned off the camera whipped out a far far cast and i'm hooked up no stay down oh he popped off are you kidding me tighten this drag a little bit wow Crazy guys. Got him. Broke me off. Six pound? Not good. Now I'm gonna have a braid to braid connection. Should be a should be a little bit better. Really didn't cast back out there because yep. Keep them pinned. Wow, that's cool. I think he flung my Senko off though. And usually I don't go straight braid. I'm braid. I mean braid to my uh, hook, but I ain't got nothing to tie a new leader. So, yep, I'm right. He flung my Senko off. Choked it. Wow. 
Well, he's got something else in there. But, all right, thanks, buddy. Grammar, this thing. Docious! Docious! Can't hear me. One of my buddies over there. Stop jumping, buddy. Ah, chucked my worm again. Not bad. Thanks, buddy. Oh, I wish I brought my other worms now. My other big box of worms that I had at home that I never really used. But, use the Guggens for now. Usually these white Senkos is what I'd use for when I'm fishing beds and stuff so I can see my Senko, but... I gotta use it, I gotta use it. You guys, I got another one. Wasn't recording. Um... I haven't had a bite for about 10 minutes, so that's why I wasn't recording. But just a little guy. Just a little guy in the four inch Sanko. Yum, yum Sanko. Get him unhooked here. Just a little guy. And then this is the way I have it rigged. I got my little band on there. Like I said, this is my four inch yum Sanko. It's rigged just like that. Gas out there, see if I can't get another bite. I'm sure, I'm sure I'm getting a lot of little guys to hit it. But I'm feeling multiple taps. Just like that, I got another one. I don't know what it is about catching fish on a spinning rod. It's just so much fun. Or at least catching bass. I've been using my bait caster so much that I've gone back to my spinning rod and it's just so much fun to catch fish on it again. Come here, buddy. Yeah. Awesome. Pop the hook out here. Just like that. Little guy, probably one pounder. Thanks, buddy. Fix up my Sanko here again. And guys, I'm not doing anything special. As you guys saw, I just cast it out there. Let it sink. Literally as it was sinking, I felt him eat it and I just set the hook on him. guys just like i said in my intro i'm currently doing my outro also i'm just finishing up my video right now and uh, i really hope you guys did enjoy today's video and i hope you guys did learn something i really do appreciate every one of you guys that take time out of your day watch my videos i really do appreciate you guys that do that and um leave a like leave a comment um let me know if you guys uh, learn something if you guys want to try any of my tactics that I did or if you guys want to see any different videos at all like crappie fishing trout fishing or if you guys have any questions techniques that um, you guys want to see um, but anyways I hope you guys did enjoy today's video if you guys did hit that like hit that subscribe button stay tuned for my next video because it's going to be a good one see you guys in the next one